You can't give this guy anything, dude. He can't do anything without his hands being on the ground. Right there, hands on the ground. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review. This week, we're uploading five videos here on Ninja Lifestyle. Boom. Oh, E, ah, oh. Did any of those look cool? Well, make sure to subscribe. Today, we are reviewing Van's reality breakdown on the Free Skate Mag YouTube channel. Skip to the middle and play. Why don't you review the whole video? Well, I wanna give you guys the opportunity to watch the video, even if I hate it, you guys might like it. Again, a link to this video will be in the description below. If I just uploaded the whole video and reviewed all these full length videos, it would seem like I was trying to steal videos from these channels and I'd rather you guys support them. All right, we're dropping in on a rock. This is Vans. Okay, let's keep in mind this is Vans because this will be the week of the shoe battles. Last week, we reviewed an Adidas video, which was almost as good as me skating after three years on the skateboard. So I don't know how that $43 billion company was able to put out such garbage, but hopefully Vans will do better. You know what, while we're here, let's look up Vans uh, like net worth, 4 billion in 2020. So that was before COVID, who knows? I could not find the answer. Let me know in a comment below, continue. Are we gonna get a flip out? No, just rolling down. We just saw this spot. A manual down and now he's going down. Switch, couple of skids for the kids. All right, black and white grainy footage. Uh, maybe there was not enough tricks to be done. Switching part to this guy, Arno Wagner. Four billion dollars, this is what we get, huh? Push three times. We get a board slide on a ledge. Okay, is it just, is this just a shoe thing? Shoe brands are supposed to I guess higher like below mid tier skaters. We get a drop in at the uh, the little <laughs> the little park. Blunt side pop in. Okay, here we go. Maybe that was just the warm up. Got the blunt side pop in. Real feminine style. Roll on grind. Lot of roll on grinds. Ollie's out. Couldn't ollie far enough, so he does the deck check. Get a little cab here. No slide to the five hundred and eighty. Not the not the cleanest. There was a lot of people disagreeing with me that. Skateboarding should be clean. And then they were like, well, it, it doesn't have to be clean. Not all skateboarding has to look the same. Okay, then why do y'all dress the same? Why do you guys film the same? Why do you guys all use the same filters? You know, like, it's all, it's like, it, everything is only the same until it's inconvenient for you. Oh my God, come on. You know, it's not the same. None of y'all land clean. Lip slide right there, fake steez with a T-Funk style. His friend is excited. Back when 80 over the uh, little flat gap there. Jump into the uh, little ride on the curb. I don't know, I guess we're getting action, right? I do appreciate this guy's style. It's not a like, it's not super high effort. You know, even though he's doing these, these high intensity tricks, some of them, he's not waggling and wiggling his arms around all crazy. You know, he kind of looks like he knows what he's doing. Then again, the video's not over. Rides up to the pole right there, a little 5-0 across. I mean, is it creative or were there no real tricks to be done? You know what I mean? A lot of people pull up to like Hollywood 16 and they skate, you know, like a wall or they skate off the roof or something. Yeah, the reason they do that is not because they're trying to be clever. It's because the 16 stair is too big for their small skills. Switch three right there, not bad. All in up, tail side all the way around, front shove. I expected a 270 there. Usually when you go around a curve like that, it, uh, it makes your hips spin and your shoulders spin and the 270 just happens automatic. Front 5-0, that was super unexpected. How did he do that that clean? Can I watch that one again? He does the 5-0 body burial, but he does it with no effort on a spot that doesn't look that perfect. Also, look at the ledge. It's not even a perfectly flat ledge, it's angled. That might be the coolest trick I've seen thus far, and I hate body burial tricks. Some would even call them sex changes if he went back a couple years. Going under the rail right there, you see some skaters might jump on that rail. He showed up to the skate spot on skate spot map and said, I'm not jumping on this rail, I can only go under it. 5-0 in a line, kind of a wasted trick. That was really sick, nice filming too. Quality in this video is great by the way. Um, we've seen a lot of, uh, just it's not always the same with the quality. You get one good clip, inconsistent is the word I was looking for. One good clip here, one bad clip there, one filmed clip good, the other one cell phone vertical. 
Uh, this guy goes to the, uh, I keep calling them little play pens. What do you call those? Little ch children parks? What do you call those things? I my brain is not working right now. A little play area? God, I can't think of that. That was pretty cool, even though it's an obscure trick. I can appreciate the obscure tricks that are done, um, very clean. I swear to God, I can't think of where kids play other than a play pen. What is the word for that, dude? <laughs> Just ultimate brain malfunction. Oh, I gotta look up, I gotta look it up, dude. Playground. Why could I not think of that word? Wow, what's wrong with me? All right, new part right here. This is Mika, Germond. What do we get here? I did skim through this. I got plenty of early grabs, but we're starting off great with the wobbly board side going over the uh, little knob at the end, switch grind across. This is what $4 billion gets you. Roll on grind. It's required for every single part. Not a bad foot plant there. Usually their feet bobble quite a bit. Nose blunt across, well done. Okay, this guy certainly deserves to have a better part than the last guy. Roll on grind there would have been the easy way out. We get an early grab and a hand on the ground. Hand on the board, hand on the ground, one with nature. Not good enough to do the ollie. Hand on the board, hand on the board. Well, we kind of know what to expect here. We got a clean shove, another early grab, another hand on the board. I mean, doing these tricks without grabbing your board would be a lot harder. So if you guys want to get skateboarding on easy mode, we don't have training wheels. We have early grabs. That's how you make skateboarding easier and more accessible for people that otherwise wouldn't be able to land these tricks. Okay, what do we get here? Kick flip across. So it's 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 mind blowing to me that the guy can do all these tricks but still does. Maybe it's just the rails he can't handle. Or maybe it's the drops because going up that that ledge and kick flipping across, he did that really well over the rail. Uh, okay, 180, fucking 5 over there, switch wall ride with the nose out, whatever, we got the visual effects, this I thought was actually very cool, um, although now that I watch it again, did he touch his hands? You can't give this guy anything, dude, he can't do anything without his hands being on the ground, right there, hands on the ground. Okay, switch grind right there, a little bobble on the skateboard. Decent filming, flip grind. So this is really odd. You know, a lot of these guys, you can kind of predict what they're good at and what they suck at. This guy's left me with one eyebrow up. I'm a little puzzled as to how we're doing this shove across. Now I shove bobbles a little bit, but still, you know, pretty good. Hard trick. Good skateboarder could easily switch front heel, switch back heel, that, whatever. We get the 180 to grind right there. I, uh, I'm looking at this rail. I did a... Now, I don't want to, I don't want to make it about me, okay, but this is Vans. This is the final trick in a Vans video. I did a 180 nose grind, like 180 to switch 5-0 down a 10 stair in 2007 for the almost last trick in my sponsor video that barely got me any sponsors. This guy does an easier version of that trick. Uh, 17 years later for the final trick in a $4 billion company. If that's not proof that the bar is getting lower every single year, then I don't know what is. And I don't want to make this all about me, me, me. I don't want to go full narcissist on you guys. But tell me where in that sentence I was wrong. You guys can go on these comments and say, he's a hater, he's a hater, he's a hater. Go back and watch my sponsor tape and the next thing that comes out of your little fingers should be... Well, he's not wrong. He did do that 17 years ago in a in a sponsor tape that's that had way less budget and not getting paid from this guy. All I need for you guys is tell me I'm wrong. And then we can maybe make some progress here. The trick was done very clean, right? Uh, against the wall is uh, pretty difficult. Land switch, really well done. Avoids the cars. Overall, these last two parts were good. You guys already know what I'm going to say. This style of video and this style of skating is not really... My cup of tea, certainly I appreciate it. And that last guy, what I did say last week is one thing I like about some skate videos is <clears throat> when the tricks are unpredictable. If I would have went at this video the way I've done several in the past and said, guess how many foot drags there's gonna be? Guess how many Tic Tacs? Guess how much B-roll? I would have been wrong about everything. I would have never guessed half the tricks this guy did, but I will say that the whole video, as far as the half that we watched, all followed the same theme. A lot of hands on the board, a lot of hands on the ground, even some feet 
on the ground, which again, for me is the cop out. If the trick was too hard, grab your skateboard. If anything's proven that, it's modern vert skating. You don't see a lot of kickflip 540s, but you do see a lot of grab 540s, early grab 540s, grab 540s in both directions, all the way up to 1080s and 1260s. All of those have grabs. You're not gonna see one without it. We saw one 720 once or twice in X Games without the grab. I get it. You guys want skateboarding on easy mode. Go to vert, put on the helmet, put on the knee pad so you can suck dick extra hard, less friction when your knees slide out, make a little snail trail of cum behind you because skateboarding is so easy and enjoyable. But some of us like skateboarding to be a challenge. Anyways, was this video entertaining? Yes, this is an easy, eight out of 10 for me. At no point did I want to turn it off and I would love to hear your thoughts in a comment below. This is the first review of the week. I have four more videos to film today and this was a great one to compare against. Again, a link to this video will be in the description below. Let me know where you guys think I'm wrong and let me know where you think maybe if you do, if I'm Correct. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Oh, yeah, a link to this video will be in the description. Did I just say that? Whatever. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Kuna Matata. In the arms of a scooter, they can spell or read at the dark.